Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, welcome back. Y'all already know for what? A quick little video. So with that being said, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video as what? As we always do. So I'm sitting here, y'all, y'all know it's a good Sunday, God's day, you get what I'm saying? Everybody fixing old Sunday, you know, dinners and everything, mine's is done. I'm sitting here beautifully watching Black Widow. So happened my phone and my alert went off and I noticed that it was Liv the Stallion. And Liv had titled this video called Losing Custody. Okay, she clickbaited it, but it's okay, baby, because y'all know I will clickbait as well. Okay, yeah, y'all know the best of them has taught me how to clickbait, okay? All right, so she's watching a documentary of Britney Spears. But what makes this video so funny is the fact that Liv has done it again. <laughs> Do y'all remember when Liv came on here and said that she did not know who Keisha Kelly was? All right, but they had a lot in common, okay? And videos out the woodwork started going everywhere, okay? Because we know that Liv has nothing in common with Keisha Kelly. They are nowhere near on the same level. They are not the same. Okay. Like, you know, it's a couple people on here that, 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 you know, we're not the same. We're not on the same level. All right. And they know who they are. They continue to say my name and it's like, we're not on the same level. We're not. We're not the same. Keep it moving. Moving on. Okay. So that's what Liv has did. She's compared herself now to Britney Spears. <laughs> now, you see what it is? Olivia is over there crying, I thought. I'm like, well, maybe the baby, you know, hormones is make. But yeah, we don't know if the girl pregnant or not. So we know that you had to go to court. And we know that you are going through a little situation. So I'm thinking, Reese Love Gang, that, you know, she's feeling some type of way. Because the girl came on here balling, okay? Balling. <laughs> What's funny is that she spoke on TMZ. She spoke on the paparazzi. But the way she spoke on it, you could tell she was hitting over to the reactors. She said she remember every tabloid would have Britney Spears on it or whatever. There would be so many stories, you know, that have them on her or whatever. There were, you know, the TMZ and the paparazzis was always there and this and that. And yeah, I got it, Liv. The shade that you threw, you trying to say that, you know what I'm saying, some of the reactors think they paparazzi or TMZ. Girl, it's okay, baby. It is okay. But what I want you to understand is this right here. We do not look at you in any shape or form as a celebrity. <laughs> See, when you are a celebrity, or at least you think you are a celebrity, they move a certain type of way. They can spend money and don't ha even have to worry about it. All right. They don't get on camera lying and saying that, you know, they bought a house and they did not. You know, they buy cars. The year that the car is in, they have them customized and they bring it to their home. All right. We know that you are not in any type of that. Okay. We know you don't know anything about luxury. Okay. Only thing that I've ever seen you with that was luxury, but I'm pretty sure it was fake and you got it from the beauty supply store was those Gucci glasses, baby. I know you didn't go on no Gucci website, no Nordstrom's, uh-uh, Saks, Bloomingdale's, none of that. I already know. You know your girl be knowing, you know, the clothes and you, come on now. Y'all already know, right? Y'all already know. Talk about it down in the comments. Y'all already know. So every time Liv decides to open up those chompers of hers. Oh my God, something dumb she says every single time and never ever fails. Let's get into it. She said the women 
create the kids. That's what she said. All right. And she says it comes from the dad sperm as well. But we, okay, us, us, we create them. Okay, so I know you didn't have a biology class or a science class because um, you have no education. Okay, so I know you don't know anything about that. But regardless, we need the man's sperm to create the baby. All right, you're saying that we don't need it. Yeah, we, we need it. Okay, not only that, because you don't know, a man genes have a lot to do with things as well. So, for example, live the stallion, tough Tony. If you look at your kids, they took none of your Caucasian side. Mm -hmm. Their complexion didn't take any of your Caucasian side, which I'm pretty sure you literally want to almost drink some bleach. Okay? And die. I, I know. So with that being said, the man jeans has a lot to do with it. Okay? Research this because I want you to have the knowledge that you need because I know that you didn't research the whole Down syndrome situation. So while you're researching the Down syndrome, search man's genes. Search the genes. All right, search how a baby actually is made. Search it mm -hmm. to get you better informed so you don't have to come up on your platform and, so and sound very ignorant. Yeah. You went on, you said that the kids need to always be with their mother unless there is something wrong with their mother and they're not a good mother. We understand that. But at the same time, a child needs their father if there is nothing wrong with them as well. Um, it's a two-way street. But you probably go up two-way streets. So, that might not be a good analogy. Anyway, I'm a daddy's girl. I need my dad. I was a mommy's girl as well. But, I will tell y'all, I don't play about my dad at all. And he doesn't play about me. I'm a daddy's girl. I'm spoiled. Yes, ma'am, I am. Okay? You talk about the father taking her kids. And you said that a bitter, scorned baby father would do something like that that's why i said you're talking about yourself but if you're not i'm gonna go ahead and bring you up to date on what you are saying and what i am taking from that video that i just got finished watching okay you are a bitter scorned baby mama so you should know you don't even want gerard to even talk to his own blood children that he helped you produce that was there with you when each one of your kids were born see what you gotta realize is this right here we can go back to all the videos and we can see exactly what and how gerard actually treated you instead of listening to a lot of lies that you come up on your platform and you lie about i'm not saying that gerard was a uh, angel. I'm not saying that at all. But at the same token, the reason why you got up here and made this video <laughs> is because Gerard and Nisha had sent you a cease and desist. So therefore, you can't talk about Gerard. So now you like, oh, let me go ahead and put on here losing custody because of this Britney Spears thing. But really, in all reality, I'm talking about my situation. Yeah, your girl peeped it. Sure did. Moving on. So that leads me to say, you know exactly how Britney uh, baby father was because you are him, but you're just a female version.
You said you don't know why people watch you and then develop a sense of how you really are in the real world. Look at your content. Look at how you are with people. Look at the fact that every time someone tries to be your friend, it always motions out into you're not friends again. Look at every man that you have dealt with. You go and you do the same thing with every single man. And you wind up, as always, by yourself. Then, when you're by yourself, you can't be by yourself. You are one who always has to have a man around you. And see, this comes from your mother. That's where this comes from. Your mother, your daddy issues. My thing is, is that it confuses me because the way that you seem to do, Gerard, is that the way that your mother did your father? Is that it? Hmm. We would love to know. Let me say this and I'm going to slide on up off of here. If you was a high profile celebrity as Britney Spears was, one thing you got to know too is that you don't know. Britney Spears, that I didn't hear you say, Britney Spears has mental issues. Okay? Research that. All right? If you were a high profile celebrity as she was, all of the things that we saw on YouTube, the ones that you have deleted, uh-huh. I mean, on real camera, um, doing sloppy toppy to Zolo, going to, you know, the white, the all white, uh, baking soda parties when you went to Houston. Yeah. If they were able to see that, your kids would have been taken away as well. That's the only reason that they were not. Okay. See, in this situation, you had God. He covered you a little bit. But like I said, if you were a high-profile celebrity, your kids would have been snatched away immediately from what you put on YouTube and, and stuff. Not only that, that dog would have been snatched away from you immediately because you don't even know how to treat an animal as well. All right? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and slide on up off of here. And I'm going to see all of you beautiful people in what's the next video. Later.